What's up everyone? This is going to be my manual setup for the Supreme Bandana Box logo drop. I'm going to have two autofills ready to go in case one of them fails. So what you want to do to set that up, just click on a random item and add it to cart. And then it brings you to this page. The first autofill that I'm going to be using that's probably going to be a little bit faster is a Chrome extension. So you're going to want to go to the Chrome web store and search autofill. And then it's this one right here. Go ahead and download it and add it to Chrome. The way this works is you click it up here and then you fill in all your information. And then once you have all your information filled in here, uh, click over here, go to new, give it a name. And then what you're gonna wanna do is click generate autofill rules. So it says done. So as you can see, we remove this from cart, go back, try to do it again. It fills in all the information already by itself. What you're going to want to note is that in the credit card I didn't put CVV, you're going to want to type this in yourself because if you go too fast, Supreme is known for doing a card decline and that's not something you want to see. The second autofill that I'm going to be using in case the first one doesn't work is Google Chrome's autofill. To set this up, you're going to want to go to this website here, and then go ahead and click add, put in all the information that's needed there, and then you're also going to want to go to this website, so you can put in the payment method, add all the necessary information there, and then to test out to make sure it works, we're going to go ahead and add something random to cart again, and then when you click name, you should be able to cover over the profile and autofill all the information there. You're going to have to manually type in the CVV again as well, so be prepared for that. And make sure you click the box down here before you hit process payment. But sometimes when you hit process payment, it comes up with a CAPTCHA. To prevent this, you're going to want to sign into your Google account on another tab. Another trick that I'm going to be doing is having bookmarks up top so I can easily navigate the website. We're going for sweatshirts, so I have a bookmark for the sweatshirt so I can easily refresh the page. I'm also going to have a different bookmark for checking out. So let's say when there's a lot of people on the website and it's flooded, you add to cart and you get to this page. A lot of the time when you click checkout now, it's not going to be working. So over here I have my second window and I have the checkout page and it brings me right to the payment information. And then you're going to want to use your autofill to fill this in. I also up top have my seconds and my time so I can see exactly when it hits 11 o'clock so I know when to start refreshing and when the drop is going to be coming. That's all I have for you guys. Only last words of advice I could say are don't give up too early. The website's going to be flooded with a lot of people, so it's going to be extremely slow. And I would practice using your autofill early by just adding random stuff to cart to make sure your speed is where it needs to be.